This is a beautiful ArcGIS Enterprise portal for the city of San Antonio, but it's just a simulation because the real one is kept secure. But I wanted to use it to show you a new capability that we've added at 1061 that changes the way people can experience your GIS, even when you need to keep things secure. Let's take a look at the city's groups. The city has a number of groups it serves with this internal portal, including EMS, the fire department, and the police department. Now, as we look at this group, we see that it's laid out and functions much like any other. But the overall experience doesn't feel custom for the police department. So here's where we've changed things. With this new capability I'm about to show you, you can create tailored experiences with your portal. It's called ArcGIS Enterprise Sites. Each site that you create can have its own branding, own design, and own data. Now, for the police department, it's important to know what happened last night and see what's happening right now. By embedding this operations dashboard and real-time activity map, officers can begin assessing the situation simply by scrolling the page. The police department also needs to have access to information at a moment's notice, especially information related to their special operations and priority data sets. Sites helps you put important information at people's fingertips while keeping a streamlined design. And for as beautiful and functional as they are, sites are also really easy to build. Just go to the portal, click the app launcher, and select sites. Now I'm ready to start designing. There's also no limit to the number of sites you can create. So now I'll make one for the fire department. Okay. Create new site. Site configuration is a quick process that involves two main steps. Step one, provide basic information about my site. And step two, choose the groups that I want to use within my site. Now I'm ready to start designing. Here's the start of my San Antonio Fire Department site. The building block for my sites are within the layout builder. These widgets control everything I can add to my design. And for the fire department, time is everything. So the first widget I'll add is an iframe that lets me embed applications. And I'll configure it with an operations dashboard. Now the fire department can quickly see average turnout and response times for the department. Now it's also important for the fire department to be able to know where incoming calls are coming from and which units are responding. And you know, I have a web map in my portal that shows just that. So I'll use the web map widget to embed it into my site. So I'll just name my map and then browse for it. Okay, looking good. The fire department also has a number of special teams that I want to give easy access to their information. So I'll use a row widget to create a new group within the site that I can change the background of. Now this section will stand out a little better than the rest. Next, I'll use the gallery to create automatically create tiles that I can link to the pages for these special teams. Now to break out of this section, I just add one more row, and I'm ready to continue my design. And because responding to calls is such a high priority for the fire department, I want to make that data easy to access too. So like the name suggests, the category widget allows me to group content categorically, and it's exactly what I'll use to make that call data easier to access. And then all that's left is for me to pick an icon to represent my category. And that's it. Oops. That's it. In just a few minutes, I was able to create a tailored experience and focused destination for the fire department without writing one single line of code. Thank you.